Curry, we are here at the, the announcement, which is the good and big for India, Saab, the company we've been associated with for very long. And uh, here we have with us Pat Palmer, the chairman and the managing director of Saab here in India. And he's going to tell us about the new decisions that was taken to set up a manufacturing line in India. Pat, congratulations both on the appointment you've just taken over and also on this new development. So what is it all about? Thank you. Uh, it's about actually establishing ourselves here with a manufacturing facility that is mainly intended for the, for the M4 version, the new version of the Carl Gustav uh, system. So we will establish maybe from a brownfield or from a greenfield a, a production facility here uh, where we will have advanced, produc the advanced production that is necessary. We will probably initially focus on the, the new site. And the new site is something that we will also export out of India uh, and then gradually build up the capabilities so we will be able to make a complete weapon. It's fair, also fair to say that the first previous version, that is the mainstay in, in the Indian Army today, the M3, is already produced by uh, uh, advanced, uh, no, advanced, uh, advanced uh, weapons and equipment. Uh, and, and, and there we have a strong relationship with them and we'll probably be able to support them to a certain extent from here as well by having this facility because we will add some capabilities that is not here in Canada today. So it's a big step for us. It's our first operation uh, where we intend to have initially 100% and, and then, then depending on the, the uh, FDI rules where we will be doing 74 at the later stage when we start to need a, a industrial license. But uh, we will take it in steps and then, then go from there. You already have the first while Ordnance Factory Board, yes. which is now Munitions India Limited after the division, uh, uh, making it. Now it already has a very established supply chain. Are you going for this new Carbustar facility? Will you use the old supply chain? I, I think we will, it will be a combination. Uh, we will, of course, use the good suppliers that are already are well, supplying. Uh, today they are not supplying to us, they are supplying to advanced weapons or A W E I L uh, and, and, and if they are a good supplier we will of course put additional work on them. Otherwise we will also look into our existing supply chain that we have not for the core goods system but for other products that we are our also that it's going to be Make in India max, so what is the percentage of actual Make in India contained which will be there in the Mark IV or M4 or the, 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 long, the long term The long term objective is to build a complete weapon in India. That is the long term objective. And, and we see this this facility that will gradually grow in terms of capabilities and also in terms of capacity over, over many years to come, uh, also as a part of our global supply chain. So there will be export out of India, out of this facility. We will use this as a satellite facility for our own operations and, and then we'll bring the system to, to Sweden and then send it from there because it comes under Swedish export rules and regulations. And uh, if it's produced in India, there is probably some rules and regulations that we will have, have to be in place uh, from an Indian perspective as well. So, so and, and there, there we have to work together with the Indian government as well as with the Swedish government. Absolutely. And uh, in continuation, you, when you create a new supply chain, you also think of creating a new skilled manpower. Yeah. So, do you have a plan for it? Uh, yeah, yeah. We, we, we uh, skilled manpower will be key because this is a this is a this is a complex product. Uh, and, uh, uh, the quality standards we apply when we produce this, both of course when we develop it, but also when we produce it, are very, very high. So we, need, we will need a good skill set of people, and, and that is actually one of the criteria when we are looking at where to go. We will probably have to do some, some, have to do quite extensive training for them, so they know how to, to handle the complexity, because it, it, these things 
doesn't work as intended. It, it, it's a problem. Uh, it's a problem for, for, for the office, and it's a problem for us. Right. And uh, what is the tentative uh, deadline by which you decide to make the facility operate? No, we intend to be up and running with the facility in 2024. That is our plan, and that is what we are working against right now. That it's, it's one to be a couple of years from now, then, then we will be up and running. But it takes time to recruit all the people, get all the licenses and authorizations in place, and, and then of course build the facility, do the investments, and all those things. Uh, but, but I think it's a reasonable time schedule, and, and, and uh, it, it will be an interesting ride. I'm uh, being new CMD down here for, for a song. Uh, having the opportunity to be, be here when it's launched and then continue to follow this for the coming years and see and work with it to see how it can develop into something uh, unique. Uh, I think we are one of the few that actually has done this, probably the only one, and it's the first time we do something like this outside of Sweden as well. Thank you very much, Mark. It was wonderful to speak with you. And we're uh, you know, looking forward to the new facility getting off road and you know, the new Carl Gustav Mark M4 coming in. Thank you so much to speak to you and meeting you. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. We are here at the Saab Press Conference, which has announced the launch of a company which will manufacture the famous Carl Gustav, which has been using for so many years, but in a new avatar. The M4. And we have with us here Jorgen Johansson, who is also the senior vice president, head of business area dynamics for Saab. And he's here from Sweden. And uh, welcome, Jorgen. What is this all about? It's an exciting news. So yeah, it, it, thank you very much. It, it's, a, it's an histor historic moment in that sense that we open up our own production of M4 system. We have been producing in India for long together with the OSP, but now we will set up the M4 uh, system to, to produce it here in India. Which is very nice. Now, you have already decided that you have a manufacturing line. Where have you decided on it? It has not been decided. The, the place has not been yet been decided. We have put out the requirements, and now we will work with the different areas to see which is most suitable for us. And have you got your clearances from the Indian government for that? We have, of course, talked to the government. They are very positive, and then we are in the process now to, to clear out the all applications and so forth. So, will it be a wholly owned subsidiary, or will it be a joint venture? We, we have 100% uh, when we start, and then there are different levels here in the system in India. So let's see, uh, we, we will solve that out. Okay, and uh, you already have an existing supply chain in India. Do you want to create a new one? I will identify new because it's made in India. So are you trying to identify new uh, suppliers in India? for the various subsystems and the systems? We will use as much as possible as we have already. And then, of course, there are new new features to the new system that we will need to have new suppliers. OK. And uh, what is the timeline you've given for everything? So timeline for the, the first, and the, starting? The, the first product we have promised to go out in 2024. Okay. And then we will work this backwards and see when we need to have all, all everything in so but we have a supporting supporting from the customers so that's very positive so they like what we're doing so i hope that will uh, ease up the process of getting everything ready and is there a number you've decided upon the first supply no we haven't so so when the, when do you finish on all these formalities which are still left to be finished why when do you expect all this to finish so that you can start manufacturing I mean, that, that will, uh, I guess, if we have products going out 2024, so to set up and do this, so I mean, uh, it would be step by step. So what is step one? Step one is, is to have every, everything approved, but this goes in parallel. We have a team now working with this in Sweden, we have people here in India, so we work in parallel now, since we have so positive signs from, from the customer, we are, we are not waiting. I wanted to ask one thing, the system you will be making in India, for India, is it 
going to be the same as the M4s you are making for the other customers because you already have other customers. Is it going to be tailor-made for the Indian customer? What is the plan? No, we do the, exactly the same system here as we do in our production in Sweden. So it's the same system. So it's the same system. Well, has the Indian customer asked for some specific things which they want for themselves? I'm not allowed to go into details on the system. Okay. And uh, the ammunition which is being used for the uh, M3 cars, is it the same which you are going to use for M4? Or will there be a change in ammunition also? All ammunitions are compatible with the new system, but there will come new ammunition types that has intelligence and with the intelligent sight, of course, this, the new system becomes more capable. And the, the, the new ammunition is possible to fire also in the older version, but you will not get that link that you have to the intelligent side that we have in the new system. Okay, and uh, is Mark IV lighter than, uh, is M4 lighter than M3? The M4 is 30% uh, lighter. So 30% lighter. 30% lighter, from 10 to 70 So it's a very big difference. So. And uh, ammunition, uh, in the earlier version used to be carried separately. Now in this, the ammunition will be carried uh, in the system itself. What is the difference? I believe there's some differences. You have a, a, a double safety now, so you could carry it loaded. That is not possible in the moment, okay. but therefore you can carry it loaded and then quickly come to action. That's wonderful, Arvind. Thank you so much for speaking with us. We actually, you know, as and when things develop, and you also develop in the process of this new manufacturing life for Balusta. I'm sure when we speak again after a few months or about six months, you'll have more to tell us. I will. Yeah. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thank, Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everybody. We are here at the press conference organized by the Swedish giant Saab, and this is made an announcement which is very wonderful that they're going to manufacture the famous and the car is now we are using here now in India for the Indian market and for the foreign market. The systems and the subsystems. And here we have with us Bothan, who's also president for the Indian South uh, M4 version, right? Yes. Is that your designation? For FFV Warnons, which is it's the OEM called. for uh, the call Gusta system in India. In India. Yeah, so. so he's the right man who's going to talk. We have here with us the system. This is the system and this is the ammunition, right? And we have just the guy to talk about the system. So, Bo, we'd like to ask you, how is it different from the one we are already using, the M3? Well, the difference is that it's a really a totally new weapon. It does look alike, but it's a new. Everything is changed in, in development and we have developed this for five years. It took us quite a long time. The main issue is that we have reduced the weight with around three kilos compared to the earlier version, which is very important for the gunner to carry. They carry a lot of stuff in the army. So the weight is very important. So we have introduced new materials like a titanium liner, new carbon fiber, uh, and so on. What is also new is that we have a communication from the weapon to the new ammunition, which has some sensors here when you load it. So when you load the new ammunition, the sight, which is also very new developed, this, this is the HG448 round, this is the ballistics of that round, and then you can put in the, the range with only one thing here. And that makes this much more accurate for the gunner. So he's hit with the first round, which is very important in today's environment. Uh, it has also new safety issues, so you can carry this loaded. In the old version, it was not recommended to carry for the loaded ammunition. But this one you can do in a vehicle like that. It has also an electronic round counter. So earlier you have a book that measures how many rounds you carry. This one you just add a, an attack, and then you can say electronically how many rounds has been high. So it's a really totally new thing. 
Uh, and it has been a success. I mean, to use it on the world market, we have already 15 customers on it, which is very large numbers on so short time. So who are already using it? In use? They are already in use. Yes. Okay. So, uh, so, is well, it exactly the same for India? Is it exactly the same one you're using for the other 15 customers? It will be small changes, but the, 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 the version in India will be the last version, also, the latest version. Okay. So that, that's for sure. And, but, but of course, we will need to, 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 to install it and buy it and like that. And, and they have entries. So. But we, we foresee you know, that it will be successful. And uh, when you made this here, uh, what is the percentage of subsistence you've decided you'll make in India and the ones you'll export from Sweden? Uh, initially, you know, this is a complicated state of the system which is, requires a lot of different uh, uh, advanced uh, machining technologies and so on. So initially it will be on a high level and then uh, during the time it will develop the uh, Indian subsidies. Uh, when you have a system like this, it's very uh, accurate and you need to qualify it in a very keen way because it's a shoulder launch system. You fire from your shoulder and nothing can go wrong. So safety is the first. So therefore we are very keen on qualification and qualification on your supplies takes time. Right, absolutely. So uh, by when can we expect it to become a part of the Indian Army? That I cannot tell you. Okay. Sorry. All right. Thank you yeah. so much, Bo. Wonderful speaking with you. It's so nice to see this beautiful weapon. Thank you very and much. And we congratulations to you all for starting a setup here in India for India. We hope that someday it will also be in India for the rest of the world. Let's see. We hope that also. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.